Good morning guys and happy Halloween. So I just woke up, if you can't tell from my spooky PJs, but it is October 31st and I thought I would bring you guys along for my day since it's my favorite holiday. I just woke up and I'm about to eat breakfast and I decided to make some spooky pancakes this morning, so let's go. So right now, my first thing I'm gonna do this morning is make myself a cup of coffee. I have this new Verismo Starbucks machine and I'm going to be using this Kenya Single Origin Espresso and my cute little mug and we're gonna make a latte. So I just finished eating breakfast and drinking my latte but I thought I'd show you guys what I'm eating. I finished eating everything and I made my whole family pancakes and there's one left, but I just made these pumpkin spice pancakes with green syrup and I already ate them all. This one's like the last of everything and then my latte. So it's about 11.30ish right now and I'm not really sure what to do with my day because my friend Rocky's not coming into town until about 7ish and I could like watch some YouTube videos, watch some Halloween movies or I could fold laundry on Halloween so I think we're gonna go watch some Netflix so let's go so I got my spooky skull mug and I'm about to watch some Netflix. I can't decide whether or not I want to watch American God. Horror Story or <laughs> The Haunting on Hill House. I'm on episode six right now, so I'm just gonna chill and watch Netflix and then probably get ready and go get a pedicure or something. So I just got finished watching a episode of Hill House and it's like almost 3 o'clock so I should probably get out of bed and do my makeup and get dressed. I th am thinking about going to get a pedicure because there's not really much to do today. It's kind of rainy outside and thunderstorming and my friends aren't in town yet so and a lot of the other ones are working right now so yeah let's do my face okay so i'm about to do my makeup right now and just so you guys know i haven't been getting my eyebrows done at all recently because the place that i've been going to has been messing up my eyebrows really badly so i've been letting them grow out so that's why they look super terrible so i always like to brush them out with just like a regular toothbrush before I do anything to my face and I just wash my face and brush my teeth and then I like to put my hair in a ponytail because just to like get it out of my face while I'm doing my makeup but yeah my eyebrows look a mess right now so you know we're living with the bushiness I don't really do anything to my eyebrows because I'm just naturally so yeah then I'm gonna take Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion which I need to get more of because I'm running out but yeah we're just gonna have like a little chit chat get ready with me I am going for a like soft glam type look and I'm going to be using 
Naked's Urban Decay palette. I recently got this because they were getting, I guess, they're retiring the first Naked palette and I got it on sale for 50% off, so it was only $27. So, Sister had to cop. We're going to go in with the shade, blah, blah, with the shade Sin. It's this, like, light pinky shimmer shade. I love shimmer shades for my eyes. They're my favorite. So we're just gonna rub that all over the lid. called sidecar and we're gonna use it like in the middle area right here I'm not really sure what it's called I'm not a boo booty guru but yes <laughs> This, like deeper brown color I want to go in with grunt mental but it's not really what I'm looking for today <laughs> it but we're gonna go ahead and go in with the shade creep and see how this goes <laughs> that the Naked palette comes with and dipping it into that same dark creep shade and I'm gonna bring it under my lower lash line. <laughs> corners of my eyes just to, like make my eyes look better I guess or highlight my eyes or whatever <laughs> This is the OG, everyone's favorite. She's a beauty. So I'm gonna be taking my highlighting brush and just putting her everywhere, girl. <laughs> And I'm going to be using my 
favorite blush. This actually came with like a birthday pack a couple of years ago. And it's in the shade Parte. It's Tarte blush. And I'm like almost out if you guys can't tell. She's my favorite. I highly recommend. They also have it in a bigger one, but I need to get another one. <laughs> gonna be going in with my Vaseline cocoa lip butter this is my absolute favorite thing to do I am not sure it's my absolute favorite thing to use and I'm not sure if I want to wear lipstick today I might go for a black lip but I haven't decided next thing of course is my ever so favorite great lash mascara by Maybelline and we're just gonna go everywhere on my eyelashes <laughs> sex mascara. I always like... <sighs> I love this mascara. But my costume, I'm just going to smell my costume. My costume is like a Slytherin girl from Hogwarts or Harry Potter or whatever. And I got these Rimmel tattoo stamps from CVS, I believe. And they're like the ones from Milk Makeup. They have this one that's a lightning bolt. And you just kind of like stamp it on. And then they have this one that is a skull and they were like $6.99 and the ones from Ulta I believe or no not Ulta the ones from Sephora and the milk makeup brand are like $12.99 or like 12 bucks each and these are only six dollars so I was thinking to use the like lightning bolt one like on my forehead like Harry Potter but I'm going for a um what's it called Hogwarts look or I mean Slytherin look so I'm like hesitant about using them but I'm gonna do like a demonstration on my hand of what they both look like just to show you guys but you can like barely see them they're like really tiny so I'm like starting to think that maybe I shouldn't even use it at all but I thought it was really cute whenever I bought it so I'm just gonna be going in with Urban Decay's All Nighter Spray and if I use lipstick of course you guys are going to see it later, so I'm just going to use this to set my face. So that's everything for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you are going to try this out or if you enjoyed and I'll be sure to see you guys in the next clip. So I just finished doing my makeup and I just thought I'd show you on my PJs before I change. They're these adorable pumpkin ones from Target. They're only at $25.99 or like $27.99. They weren't too bad, but I'm obsessed with these and yeah. So I was deciding what to wear today and before I wear my costume, I was going to wear this glow-in-the-dark Mickey Mouse shirt from Target and then I'm gonna wear these black leggings that have these stud openings at the bottom I don't think there's any holes anywhere else so yeah okay so I just got dressed here it's my outfit it's kind of hard for me to show you guys so let me flip it into the mirror my face is cut off because I have this cute happy Halloween thing in my mirror but I just got my Mickey Mouse shirt on and my leggings and I think I'm gonna wear my black Birkenstocks 
And right now, actually, I'm going to put on my Harry Potter tattoo for my costume. And then I'm going to pin this to a white button up. And it's going to look so cute. I got this from Target this year, and I'm super excited to put it on. So I just finished applying my Harry Potter tattoo. It looks so sick. I really want to get this in real life, like, as my first tattoo. It's so sick. I'm in love. So here's my final outfit of the day. Got my Death Eater tattoo on too and my Birkenstocks. And we're gonna go get a pedicure, get a witch's brew frappuccino. So let's go. <laughs> driving right now and I just got a pedicure I went to Sephora I got a witch's brew frappuccino if that's what you want to call it I work at Starbucks and honestly I really freaking liked it I thought it was delicious it's like anyways as I was saying it was a fruity pebbles trick cereal frappuccino and it has like chia seeds in it but it was really good and then I walked to my local Trader Joe's and I got some sushi and a shrimp roll, which is amazing. And I'm about to eat that. And then I'm gonna go hang out with some friends and then probably go home and put my costume on. So I thought that I would update you guys and just let you know what I'm doing. I didn't want to like talk whenever I was like getting a pedicure just because it's like a little tiny bit awkward. So I just like filmed, like brought you along on my adventure. But I'm gonna eat this freaking sushi and this roll because I'm starving. So I got a spicy California roll and a shrimp spring roll from Trader Joe's and I'm about to eat this up. Hey guys, so I just got back from the mall and I went and got a pedicure and I went to Trader Joe's and I had just eaten some food. But I went to the mall in the meantime and I thought I'd show you guys what I got. Well, I went to Sephora and I got a well, eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay because I ran out, if you guys saw earlier. Then I went to Forever 21 I got this NASCAR tee, and it's like a cropped long sleeve tee, super cute. I also got these gray, white, and yellow black camo sweatpants. Then these black and white, like, I don't know what to call them, but they're just like shorts, biker shorts, I don't really know, but they're super cute. Then I went to Victoria's Secret, and they're having some sale where if you spent over $75, you got a bag, so I got this bag. I'm not gonna take it out of the packaging because I might give it to my mom because it's not the cutest bag, but it's like a tote bag. I got a bunch of bras. I don't feel weird about showing it, so I'm sorry, but I got this yellow one that has like crisscross in the top, and it has like these little diamonds all over it. I thought it was super cute. And then I got this camo one that buckles in the front. Let me buckle it. It's camo and it goes like this and it has this like cool backing but I thought it was adorable and it says pink along the band. I don't know if you guys can tell. The last one that I got is this floral bra that's black and pink. Little roses all over it and I thought it was Super cute, so I got it. The last place I went to was Hot Topic just to pick up some accessories for my costume. I got this Harry Potter Slytherin tie and a Harry Potter Slytherin 
headband to wear. I thought it was cute and I'm only gonna be this once, so I might as well go all out. Hey guys, so I finally finished getting ready and I thought I would do a reveal for you guys. So here is the final outfit. I have my headband, my tie, my shirt on, and then of course my socks. I'm going to be wearing heels and then I have my tattoo, but we're going to go out. So I'm probably going to say goodbye here in case I don't come back on again. But I just want to say happy Halloween, and I hope yours was as spooky as mine. So, there's one other thing I wanted to show you guys. I got a bunch of stuff to make my friend Rocky a boo bag. I got this cute little orange pumpkin guy from Target's Dollar Spot. I thought it was super cute. I got her these orange jack-o'-lantern socks this cute little like milk glass which i thought was adorable and she always says how cute they are so you could like use it as decor for like one sip because it's like literally the size of my hand but it's super cute and then i got ghost peeps spooky cat peeps and orange pumpkin peeps and i thought she would like this and we could like make hot chocolate and put this on it but I thought it was adorable and then I got her this cute little card with ghosties on it and I'm gonna write in it I'm gonna decorate it all cute for her so I'm gonna go give that to her and I thought she would love it 